Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We're here everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the newest episode of My Hero Academia Season 3. This being episode 20 or episode 58 overall in the series. Now, this is actually a filler episode, which I believe is somehow going to be connected to the movie Two Heroes, probably for like a means of promotion as well. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see Two Heroes at Anime Expo. I really wanted to, but I did not get there on the first day as early as I wanted to and I, the line was like four or five hours long so I had to miss out on that and I'm gonna have to wait till the end of next month to actually go and see the movie in theaters which I'm honestly really really excited about but I think in this episode I don't know if we're actually gonna see characters from the movie I think if we did that'd be pretty sweet or like primal all might because when we first got that preview for uh, two heroes and I saw that like that was something I was like okay this is gonna be one of the things that I'm you know most anticipating with the with the movie but as far as I remember it, which there hasn't been too many filler in My Hero Academia, but from the filler episodes we've had, I've, if I recall correctly, I've enjoyed them. So, you know, hopefully this will be be some fun and we'll pick up next week, of course, with like Gang Orca and the rest of the Rescue Operation Test, which, you know, that's kind of getting a little uh, more heated up, if you'd want to say, compared to how it started. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into this episode, everyone, and see what we got. We're starting at the very beginning. We got a little Deku here with the, with the title card in the background. We're going to get into this in three, two, one, play. And there's All Might as well. It would it just wouldn't be right if it wasn't the two of them. <laughs> and doesn't it hurt seeing him in this form, in this state? This is the longest we've saw him hold it, and, and it's in this segment. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping we'd get that this episode, but I, I, you know, I'll be, it's all right with waiting another week. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> with love. Saving people with love. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty sweet how they're starting off like this, like. Letting us know what's up instead of just literally just bam, you know, starting the episode. People are like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> right? Like, what is this? Like, where do we pick up with the last episode? <laughs> like, this isn't, this isn't it. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. But it saddens me that you know, All Might was in that state for the longest we've saw him since, you know, the fight with, with uh, All for One. So... Feels bad. <laughs> save the save the world with love. Gonna do something with love in this episode. I mean, that's literally in the title of the episode too. So I think that is the title of the episode. One and only. Here we go. Oh, so that's the approach they're going to go. That's how they're going to do a TV special like this is. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it a crazy coincidence? <laughs> Prime all night, man. The guy's blushing too, some mentos, yeah. <laughs> Kind of like a Batman and Robin. David Shield, is that? Okay, so that Dave guy's 
one of the because the the whole movie's like a you know a lot of it's you know focused on the past I think you know right greetings from one island Melissa shield so that's the blonde haired girl I think that we see I don't know anything about the movie at all besides what we've saw from like the the preview which we did see that David guy in the preview for the movie and we did see Melissa his daughter who I think who has like the blonde hair Fight and capture a hypothetical villain. <laughs> they shut up quick. It's pretty basic. Pretty basic setup, you know. <laughs> the back door. Hey. Sweet, sweet. I like that. Number of villains and hostages is unknown. <laughs> I was about to say, Ida's the first one asking a question. <laughs> We're the first one to say something about the. Is this Bakugo? Is this Bakugo the, talking up a plan right here? Like, giving ex instructions? <laughs> I thought he was going to, like, burst out onto the scene and just start blasting shit. <laughs> and all might play in the villain. My girl. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, they got Midnight Present Mike and Samethos as like the hostages. Three hostages, one villain. <laughs> oh my it kind of looks like uh what's his name D vlad Am I, is that who i'm thinking of at least the the mask who wears the i forget his name the hero's name this is the bakugo i was talking about before that i <laughs> <laughs> uh, you started off pretty well too, my boy. We're giving that instruction, of, that idea to Old Chago, but it was only a matter of time until he. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, yeah. We I think we all figured it would. <laughs> Oh. 
Wait, what? Yo, what is happening now? Because this was supposed to be the villain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh, that's the point. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? I mean, they were tied up, right? <laughs> little mystery, little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, present Mike. It's weird seeing his hair like that, too. Bunch of credit cards. Okay. He killed himself. <laughs> Villain killed himself, man. I don't know. That is possible. There could, he could be working in tandem with someone, or maybe not just one person, but... <laughs> as far as they know. <laughs> I would say like President Mike seems the most like, you know, like he did something, but that's just him. That's just him being him. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> they don't think of this like Bakugo does, man. They don't. And call the police. She was the one outside of the store because, yeah, when she, those two are already in here.
Ooh. Damn. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Is this what they meant by love? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think she killed him. Wait, huh? That's what I said, didn't I? Yeah, I did. He killed himself. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and I can't let her live for the rest of her life like that. I couldn't. Damn. They're doing a pretty good job acting this out. I gotta give it to him. <laughs> In love, they were a thing. <laughs> Yep. Damn, man. Saving the world with love. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me, yo. That would be me, like, Bakugo. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> she did a good, yo, Midnight, man. I've, I've always shown Midnight, yo. Yo, you know, man. <laughs> but, like, yo, they did a good job acting that out. It would be Deku to, f I mean, I guess it makes sense. It was Deku who figured it out, but, like, You know, Chaco had a little part in the plan as well. I mean, oh, he got away. <laughs> he got away. Yeah, it's all pointless if the if the, if the villain gets away. They played him. They played him. Yeah. I mean, she even... <laughs> and she even said it, too. Like, what did Sue say? She said something like, I think he's supposed to be dead. Or, like, he's, you know, he's not dead, but I think he's supposed to be. Like... <laughs> oh, man. They played him. Damn. Damn. Was it all a facade? <laughs> Damn. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> and that's what we saw at the beginning of the episode from Melissa's shield. Yeah. Uncle Might. <laughs> there she is. It's pretty cute. A reunion. So yeah, we got to see her and we got to see uh, also David in this episode as well. So I mean, and a little bit of Prime All Might, I guess. Yeah. See? Yo, look at that whip too. That was like kind of like his right hand man, his sidekick. <laughs> of course, he knows. This may be a dumb question all night. <laughs> So this is where it kind of goes into the the movie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I still got to talk to my mom and like just right now, like right right here, right now, like. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool, man. That was pretty cool. So that makes me think, like, the movie, like, there's, you know, a good amount of probably flashbacks in there with, you know, Young All Might and, you know, Dave and and then probably picks up to where, like, kind of this, you know, leaves off with them heading to, to I Island. Like, you know, Deku, All Might. I don't know if all the other Class 1A students are going to be there. Or, yeah, see, I haven't even watched a movie at all. I think I think they will be. I think they are. I don't see. I don't even know, but... That was, that was a pretty fun, you know, a little whodunit kind of, little mystery, you know, not so much about the fighting, but actually, you know, figuring out, you know, a, a crime scene, you know, like a whodunit. So, uh, that, that was, that was pretty fun, you know. Rather would have picked up with the gang orca stuff from the end of the previous episode this week, but... Like I said before, waiting another week isn't going to kill me. It's not going to kill me. <laughs> I think we got some after the ED, too. Yeah, we do. Probably something about the movie. It must be. Preview for the next episode, of course. Let's see. And we're back. <laughs> that wasn't actually love. <laughs> Midnight and All Might, though? Hey. <laughs> see, there it is. There it is. A little movie promotion. I'm seeing it in September next month, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to leave it off with that. That was sweet. That was sweet. And I'm not going to watch the preview for the next episode. So, <laughs> yeah, man. So, we'll be picking up with that in the next episode. 
Um, for the most part, this is a nice little change of pace, I guess you could say, for for a week, you know. Um, and yeah, I I kind of just went into it open minded, like you know, hopefully this is fun. It was fun, so I'm, I'm satisfied. And you know, even got to see Prime All Might, David, you know, Melissa, and I think they, they you know, at the end there, they they tied it pretty nicely into the into the movie, especially for someone like me, you know, watching this before actually watching the movie which isn't that big of a deal anyway but uh pretty nice pretty nice so uh yeah let me know what you guys thought of this episode of my hero academia if you did enjoy make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching peace out